The United States Air Force is globally recognized for being an institution plagued with secret projects, experimental aircraft and programs at the highest levels of classification. Without going any further, the favorite place in the U.S. Air Force to test its most extravagant aircraft is a small base located in the Nevada desert, popularly known as Area 51. The number of sightings of unidentified flying objects in this place have elevated the military site to the level of urban legend. And we can't really blame the American public. The Pentagon has developed dozens of experimental planes, many of which never saw the light of day, but others did, although the operations they carry out forced the government to keep them secret. This is the case of the emblematic RAT-55, a huge Boeing 737-200, which has been modified to study and analyze the performance of stealth anti-radar technology. It is a kind of stealth trainer, which tests the most modern advances in this matter, to confirm that its capabilities are up to what Washington wants, and that they can be applied in the North American arsenal. Join us in a new episode of Military Aviation to discover the secrets behind the elusive RAT-55. Many of the most emblematic aircraft of the United States were involved in complex conspiracy theories, because the government developed them in the greatest secrecy within its Black Projects program, with budget items that were covered up with civil expenses. While the State Route 71 Blackbird was being manufactured in the hangars, the expenses were passed off as spare parts for known vehicles. But the great historical problem of the U.S. Air Force is that its test field, Area 51, is a legendary zone, constantly under the surveillance of curious civilians who believe that alien spacecraft are hiding there. For this reason, both the Blackbird, the Aurora and the B-2 Spirit were sighted long before their introduction to service, and were mistaken for extraordinary futuristic aircraft, or even visitors from other planets. Something similar happens with the RAT-55. Actually, it is a common plane, or at least, its fuselage and engines are those of a Boeing T-43, the military version of the Boeing 737-200, a plane in which any of us could travel through a commercial airline. But at the same time, the modifications made to the body of the aircraft have caused a lot of confusion for civilian viewers. Although it is the smallest of the 737 family, the 200 model is huge, making it extremely easy to spot in the sky, except when traveling at high altitudes. It measures 30 meters long, 11.3 meters high, and its wingspan is 28.3 meters. Its fuselage has an approximate diameter of 4 meters, while its maximum takeoff weight is an impressive 54 tons. Now, as we mentioned, the RAT-55 doesn't look like a commercial 737. In principle, the plane is completely white, from nose to tail, and only a small sign that reads U.S. Air Force identifies it as a military aircraft. Printed on the tail fin is the name that created the myth, RAT-55, which is actually its flight designation. But since it sounds like RAT, people started calling it that. Beyond the paint, the shape of the RAT-55 is quite curious, in fact, it could be said that it is truly unique among the 10,737s that have been built. It could be defined as the fusion between a Boeing T-43 and a huge cigar. On both its nose and tail, the plane shows two cylindrical protrusions, as if the fuselage had been pierced by a huge sonar. This is what has caught the attention of so many people, who wonder what that strange plane could be. What is inside the huge cigar are nothing more than ultra-modern sensors and complex electronics, capable of confusing various types of radar and infrared detection technology. Actually, it is not a spy plane, nor a bomber, but a kind of trainer for the development of stealth planes. In fact, the RAT designation corresponds to radar aircraft testbed, which already clarifies quite a bit the role that this extravagant plane fulfills. The elusive T-43 is very difficult to locate, and in fact, no one knows where its home is. The few times it has been photographed, with official permission, it was on a tour of the United States, or refueling at a civilian airport, during a long trip. This does not surprise anyone, since one of the worst characteristics of the Boeing T-43 is its low flight range. But the secrecy makes sense, this plane is extremely essential for the US Air Force, because it fulfills two very important jobs. 
In principle, the huge cigar provides enough space to install the latest technologies to measure and record the performance of stealth fighter avionics, as well as anti-aircraft radars. This allows sensors and systems designed to defend against invisible threats to be tested, determining, for example, whether a defensive missile could locate an enemy stealth fighter or bomber. In short, it is a kind of flying laboratory in which the new advances in aeronautical stealth are studied and monitored decade by decade. The Air Force has no plans to replace this aging aircraft with a newer model. Curious as it may seem, the RAT-55 has a high maintenance cost, since the modifications made to its fuselage generate tensions and resistance that constantly take their toll on the general condition of the plane. If we take into account that its entry into service was presumably in the 1980s, we can infer that the T-43 is not in the prime of its age, but should be nearing retirement. However, many specialized analysts assure that the U.S. Air Force plans to continue using the old RAT, as having aerial oversight of stealth technologies is critical to developing new devices most effectively, which ground-based engineering could not achieve. Some proposals for future modifications for this curious plane would be the adaptation to new types of infrared tracking sensors through external pods, which could be installed on the outside of the fuselage, as many Russian ships have done. It is also believed that it will not be long before the RAT has its own fleet of assistant drones, which could further improve its performance, capturing all kinds of information from outside the plane. Whether it has years or decades left in service, the RAT-55 is a dependable and essential tool for the Air Force. It's not surprising that it has carved out its own aeronautical myth, and probably in the future it will be remembered as the strange cigar-shaped Boeing 737, which flew over the United States carrying some of the greatest state secrets. Thank you very much for joining us until the end. Stay tuned for our next video.